Everybody, it's Dr. Eric Wellcabbage. We're back for another edition of Thyroid Thursday. And today we're talking about medication and how you might know if you're taking too much T4 medication. On another video, I'll talk about T4, T3, maybe too much T3 medication. Um, but let's talk about T4 today. You've been diagnosed with hypothyroidism, you've been given thyroid medication. Uh, maybe you've been on that roller coaster ride where you, you just can't find the right dose. Uh, that makes you actually feel good. And there's a good reason why you may never find the right dose of T4 that makes you feel good because the dose that your doctor might be looking for to get your, T your TSH in the one to two range or depending on what their goal is, maybe below one, is probably not gonna be the range that's gonna make you feel good at the cell level because if, as your T4 level in the blood goes up that's suppressing TSH that low, uh, you're reducing the T4 to T3 conversion in the peripheral cells. Remember, most of the T3 in the body is not made by the thyroid gland, it's made by the peripheral tissues. And so, if as soon as the body set, starts to sense more T4 in the bloodstream than the body needs, it starts reducing the conversion of T4 to T3 in the periphery. The other reason why you might not feel great, doesn't matter what dose the thyroid med of T4 medication you get, is that if you have excessive cell stress going on, you have inflammatory mechanisms going on, the cells often protectively downregulate T4 to T3 conversion because of that threat response. So it doesn't matter how much T4 you put in the system, it you may still have some hypothyroid symptoms. But how do you know if maybe you're taking too much? Well, one of the things that may start to occur if you're, if you're taking too much thyroid medication is you just don't feel well. So let's get into it. And then if you have questions, put them below wherever you watch the video. So one of those things that you might, that might clue you in that you're having, yeah, you're just taking too much T4 medication is that you start to have, um, the brain actually starts to feel more hyperthyroid and then the peripheral body starts to feel more hypo at the same exact time. And you may be told this can't happen, but it can happen. And symptoms of too much thyroid hormone in the brain brain fog, insomnia, headaches, heart palpitations. You get this wired and tired feeling. Um, you can get extreme exhaustion because too much thyroid hormone T4 uh, supplementation can cause your problems with your mitochondria, okay? And that's a, it's a whole nother discussion. But you'll also start to see weight gain. So on a certain dose, you may say, hey, I feel a little bit better, maybe a little bit of improvement of weight. But as your doctor starts to increase uh, that T4 medication because you still feel symptomatic, you may get to that point where, oh my gosh, my weight is going up. And your doctor can, might say, hey, your, your weight can't go up because I'm giving you so much medication that you're actually, I'm driving that TSH low. It's almost like a hyperthyroid state. It, you, you can't be uh, gaining weight and you absolutely can gain more weight. One of the reasons why is because of what I've explained earlier. There's an enzyme inside your cells and tissues that converts T4 to T3. It's called deiodinase 2. And when there's more T4 in circulation than there needs to be, that results in a down regulation of the deiodinase 2 enzyme. So while there, when there's lots of T4 in the bloodstream, the body interprets that as hyperthyroidism and starts reducing some of that conversion of T4 to T3 in the peripheral tissues. Okay? So... That's one indication that you might be over medicated with T4. Another thing is your TSH is dropping below 1.0. Now, what your doctor's goal with your T4 dose may be dependent on what's going on with your gland. They may say, hey, there's some abnormal cells there. We don't want any function of the gland. We're going to drive your TSH so low that it's almost not measurable. So they want it underneath, under one. Some doctors just think it doesn't matter what TSH is because they're giving you T4 and the gland doesn't need to work. But I don't think that's true. I don't think that's the case. But anytime your TSH is below 1.0, it's a good indication that you might have too much T4 in the system, okay? The other thing that's important is what is your goal? So for a lot of people who are going to an endocrinologist, their goal is to get the TSH back into reference range because they assume that that's gonna make them feel better. Most medical physicians, their goal is to get TSH back into that one to two, you know, in that one to two range uh, because they believe that when they give enough T4 to get you into that range, then then we, they've created euthyroidism. They've restored thyroid physiology in the body, but we know it doesn't work quite that way. 
But a lot of patients that come to me and others don't feel well on, they can't find the magic dose that doesn't feel well, and they're frustrated and they want to They really what they're saying is, I don't want to have to take this thyroid medication every day. What do I need to do? Well, one, we need to find out what triggered this thyroiditis this, and this peripheral underconversion in the first place, and that takes a lot of work, and that's why Dr. Kelly and I wrote a book called The Thyroid Debacle. But the other thing we need to do is we need to have TSH a little bit higher so it's actually starting to stimulate the thyroid gland to do its job, which is to make T4 primarily, and if there's reduced T4 to T3 conversion in the periphery, it can actually generate more T3. If we keep driving TSH below two, below one with T4 medication, there is no need or there is very little drive for the thyroid gland to do anything. If you want your thyroid gland to recover, you can't continue to suppress TSH, okay? Number three reason, or number three indicator that you might be taking too much thyroid medication is that your T3, total T3, and free T3 are too low. Total T3 maybe below 100 is a good indication you're not doing a great job of converting that T4 to T3, and we already, I already explained why, and a free T3 potentially below 3.0. Number four, uh, take a look at something called the free T3, free T4 ratio, and there's some calculators online. I typically put the units into picomoles per liter, and to do my calculation. So you put both T, free T3 and free T4 in picomoles per liter. You divide uh, free T3 by free T4. If your free T3, free T4 is less than 0.31, you're probably taking too much T4 medication because it's not converting. In a true hypothyroid state, when somebody doesn't have enough thyroid hormone in the system, what we actually see is that they're uh, free T3 to free T4 ratio goes up. It goes up significantly over 0.34. If you're in that in the range of 0.31 to 0.34, you're probably in a sweet spot, okay? Um, now, some of you may be saying, what about what if I'm taking T3 as well? That's another video, we'll talk about that because it, it, you, it, this, that ratio doesn't truly reflect what's going on in the body. So that's re test number four. Test number five, you can look at reverse T3. It's not as, um, it's not always as clear cut that if it's elevated, you're taking too much T4 medication, but it's a good indication along with some of these other things that there's a problem with um, too much medication. And because you've gotten this far in the video, I'm gonna give you a bonus. And that is look at tissue indicators of thyroid hormone status. And that I never run a thyroid panel uh, essentially by itself. I'm always running at least one tissue indicator of thyroid hormone status. So oftentimes I'll run a lipid panel. If I'm taking more T4 medication than I, if somebody's taking more T4 medication than they need, and I, I may see their cholesterol and LDL levels going up. I may see their triglyceride levels going up, their VLDL levels going up. Why would I say that? Well, if you're taking too much T4 medication, it reduces T4 to T3 conversion in the tissues, and you need T3 in the tissues to bring cholesterol out of the bloodstream, whether it's pulling it into the adrenal gland or into the, um, into the liver, you need sufficient levels of T3. So if I'm taking too much T4 medication, that's inhibiting or shut or deep, or you, what we call ubiquitating, turning off deiodinase two. Now I get less T4 to T3 conversion inside the cells, and now I can't get cholesterol out of the bloodstream. So that could be another indication that there's tissue the hypothyroidism going on, maybe because I've given too much medication. Now the person could have tissue hypothyroidism going on for other reasons, infections, inflammation, emotional stress, trauma, whatever. But when we're, somebody's manipulating the labs, always run a tissue indicator of thyroid status and that will help a, a clinician know, hey, this is probably more thyroid hormone medication than they need. All right, hopefully those this video helps. If you have any questions, put it below wherever you watch the video um, and send me any questions that you, or topics, that you think would be a great, uh, would make a great Thyroid Thursday uh, educational video, all right? And don't forget, go out there and buy your copy of the Thyroid Debacle and give us a, a plug on uh, and review on Amazon or wherever you buy your books. Thank you.